p.m. from other parents um, who had had success with their children who, like mine, is um, are not very verbal um, and not able to express thoughts that they do have inside. Um, and it's very difficult. There are not that many RPM practitioners, and it took months and months to be able to finally be part of a group who could, who I could then meet Lene. She was the first RPM person I met. Um, and it's difficult to get because there's not that many people out there um, who do it. And immediately I was taken. My my son. Um, can express words, but he doesn't express words very functionally. So he'll say a lot of things, but they're not what he means to be saying. So he's verbal, he's not conversational. And with RPM, it um, immediately he was able to express some thoughts and show us that he did indeed understand material that was age appropriate and grade level and we really switched our view of him. We always believed he was smart. Um, we always believed he knew more than he could express, but there was no way to know how much he knew, no way to know how much he was able to, um, to really process what was going on around him. And so RPM really, I mean, it changed our world, it changed his world. It's been by far the most significant of all the many, 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 many therapies that we've had and all the money we've spent on many different things trying to reach him. It's been by far the most significant one I can point to. And he himself points to it. He just wrote this week. We asked him, he's changed a lot just in the last two months. He's gone through a really profound transformation where He's playing more, he's showing more interest in things, he's able to sit for longer, um, and he's just much more regulated and in control. And we asked him if he had noticed this too, he said yes, we asked him why, and he said because of RPM and the fact that I'm able to communicate now, I have so much more hope for a normal life, that's how he put it. And so I think that's just made his whole worldview change and everyone around him treats him differently too as much as we wanted to treat him like the smart person we believed he was because he couldn't respond to us it was difficult to always treat him that way now we absolutely know without a doubt he understands everything we're saying and that what's coming out of his mouth isn't what he means to be saying and so we talked to him about everything that we talked to our other son about so we explained to him about politics and we explained to him what happened in our day and we we treat him like he understands everything because he actually does and he's able to show us through RPM that he does. Um, we now just are so eager to teach him about everything. So we do art history, we're studying ancient Egypt with him, he wants to learn music, so I'm going to start teaching him how to read music and play the piano. All these things that were just out of reach because we had, we had no method to get this information to him. We had no way to hear back from him what he thought. Um, RPM also enables him to focus and enables him to control his body. We're teaching him through RPM way beyond just academics and how to spell things on a letter board. We're teaching him how to be intentional, how to be focused, how to slow down and control his body. Um, and all of that wouldn't be possible without RPM. So RPM is just something every parent who has a child who is nonverbal, a child who's minimally verbal, a child who's even more verbal, but who you know that there's a mismatch between what they're able to say and what they are able to think. If that mismatch is there, if there's a disparity in that, then RPM is for them. Um, and I, it just pains me to go into schools now. I visited so many and most of them don't do it and they treat the kids, they treat the kids as if what is coming out of their mouth is representative of what's in their brain and they are limiting them 
so much. And I just think of these kids who year after year are sitting in a school and being treated like because they can't tell you the difference between a red object and a blue object, that they don't know the difference between red and blue. And it's simply not true. Um, and I get that it is, uh, it requires a whole different way of thinking. It will require a huge amount of training to get this into schools, but I do believe it's possible. And I believe it's a civil rights issue for our kids that if we are limiting their education, we're limiting their ability to communicate, we're limiting their ability to be fully functional members of our society, and they want this so badly. I see in my son how much he wants to do and how much he wants to contribute, and he doesn't want to be dependent on us forever. He expresses that all the time. And we're creating a population of kids who we're making them be dependent on us forever because we're not giving them tools like RPM in schools. Um, so I think it's a it's an urgent matter. It's one I want to devote a lot more time to getting this out there because people don't know about it. They don't know how to do it. There aren't nearly enough people trained in it. And without a huge amount of support from the foundation community, it, it can't happen. Um, and we just, we have to think about autism completely differently than we have, or we're going to relegate this very large percentage of our population to lives that are not meaningful to them. Um, and so that we have to go through a profound change in order to, to make a different reality for those kids. Really want to thank the Akil Autism Foundation for bringing Monet here. Um, this workshop is essential for parents um, and educators. I brought other team members here just to keep growing in RPM. It's a, it's a complex therapy and it's one that we have to go through a very long learning process. I've been learning it for a while and without seeing people who are as uh, advanced in their skill as Lene, it's difficult for me to advance. It's also just, um, it's points throughout the year of inspiration where I see everything that my son can do and remind myself that I need to push harder and go further to really realize, help him realize his full potential. And without that, I think I would get stuck at a lower level. So every time I see Lene and participate in these workshops, I grow significantly. I'm able to bring it back to my team. He grows, she gives us very specific things to work on as next steps. She knows him, she knows us, she knows sort of where we are and she's able to tailor her feedback to us. Um, and so I'm deeply appreciative. I wanna see her every opportunity I can because I learned so much and RPM is our lifeline to our son. So we will do everything we can to, to grow in that therapy. Um, so I hope that you know, there continues to be support for the foundation and bringing in other parents. And there's so many people who can't afford to come without that support. So it's essential. Um, it's essential to spread the word and spread the knowledge about RPM. Um, and I hope that support continues and that support grows more.